Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be a share on a pill embellishment box um, that I'm getting ready to send out. Um, my friend Nicole asked me if I wanted to swap with her and I'm always down for a good swap with Nicole and anybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what we decided to use were these pill bottles from, um, or pill box from Dollar Tree. These are really big. These are like nine inches long. And so that's what we decided to use. And, um, we agreed on decorating it for Valentine's Day, but being able to fill it with anything we wanted. So, uh, that's what I did. <laughs> so I'll just show you guys the outside of the box. This is, um, a, like, 65 pound cardstock box um nicole is not a fan of pink and so i really wanted to try to stick more with the reds and then i found this paper that incorporated black which made it like awesome because i can make my box in black and um kind of tone down the pink a little bit um there's still plenty of pink but um it's a little more controlled <laughs> so um these stickers came off or these stickers came off of um, one of the dollar sticker packs from Michaels that people have been hauling lately. Um, here is a cabochon that I had made with just some washi tape. Um, some little uh, word stickers that I turned into flags. And then just a bunch of gems everywhere. Um, this one's cool. It's a heart gem, but then it has like this metal charm. Uh, then I have this ribbon from AliExpress. I just got it the other day. It came in right on time for me to actually be able to craft with it. And then, um, so yeah, I used the black as the base and then I did red foil and then my pattern paper. And this is, um, one of the 25 cent sheets from Hobby Lobby. So this box, um, it fits perfectly inside. This pill box fits perfectly inside. Um, this cardstock box. I wanted to do that. I included a sequins mix in here and it's like super secure. Like I'm not worried about it, um, popping out or anything. So yeah, so we'll open it up and because it's such a tight fit, I couldn't really, um, embellish the tops of the lids very much. Um, so I just did like this, um, uh, little sticker, this XO, and then kind of like an ombre of the pink hearts. And so in this one, it's just a bunch of gems that I cut off of sheets that I had. So just a bunch of different colors. Um, again, some black, some red gem hearts. Um, I had to include some pink. And so some of those stickers, some heart jemmies. So let's go back in there. And then in this second one is my sequins mix. And this is super cool. So it has like pink um, iced coffee drinks, which I've sent her before. Um, but then I have, I'm not even sure, like I have seed beads in here. The base of this mix was um, the one this year from Hobby Lobby. And then I just added to it. But um, it's super pretty. Again, I tried to go more towards red. Um, and not so much pink. I have, there's some seed beads, um, these like champagne gold glitter sequins. Um, I added more of the transparent white and some transparent pink. Um, I have these little rolled pieces from Dollar Tree. I'm just kind of mix. oh, I have these, um, like matte hearts too from AliExpress. Oh, you can see it. Uh, but yeah, it turned out super cute. I love, I love the way it turned out. And again, because of how tight I made it, um, it's not going to go anywhere during shipping. So this guy wants to pop out. <laughs> Nicole is a big Disney fan. Um, and I had actually received some of these, um, patches. And so I wanted to include them. So we have blue and there's purple and pink, of course. Um, and so for one of them, I just, um, punched in an eyelet. So if she wants to use it as a charm, just to kind of give her an idea of, um, something she can do with it. And, um, I filled this pretty full and so it 
keeps wanting to pop open. Um, oops. There's that one. It'll probably stay open. Um, and in here we just have gems. I have a couple different rainbow gems. These are pretty. They're like flower gems. Um, there's a green stripe. Um, some different colored glittered pieces. Just all kinds in there. This one's cool. It's like a mermaid scale one. It's in there. And here I just have a bunch of eyelets. Um, all different colors. Oranges, reds, pinks, there's peaches, yellows, greens, blues. Um, I got a huge bag of this in a, uh, a mystery package uh, that I purchased from Scrap Diva 29 and so I wanted to share those um, and in here we just have beads um, I'm not sure if I've shared some of these glow beads with her before or not but I have some in there um, here's another one here's a little heart bead I'm pretty sure I've given her one of these already um, some charms some other really pretty beads in there Alrighty, and then in this last one is just some rolled flowers that I did. Um, it's kind of heavy on the pink here. Oh, and then I have, um, it's so funny because these giant, like, felt pieces from Hobby Lobby, um, they have the hearts punched out and the doily edge, um, and a lot of the hearts are still stuck in there, and it makes super cute, like, teeny tiny, like, I don't know if it could be like a filler or just like to glue it on a project they're so tiny but like it's really like a good heart shape and so I stuck some of those in there and then um maybe more than some I stuck a lot of those in there uh and then just rolled flowers did a couple different shades of pink there's a red and um it shows you how big this container is because I can fit several of these in here um really easily so you guys that is actually all for this video i'm actually gonna send her um some candy and um a couple of other beads for other projects that i had been meaning to give to her um i'm probably gonna tape this down <laughs> it's not wanting to cooperate um, but yeah, so that's it for today's video. If you guys want to see what I'm going to be doing next time, go ahead and subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.